category is... Hi everybody and welcome to the first ever Lolita's Drag Race fashion photo review here with Hemi Blondbond with me tonight. Hi, it's a pleasure having you here. Hi, thanks How are for you? having me. No, it's a pleasure for me to have you here. It's really a pleasure. I'm so sorry for everybody for uh, my English, but I'm trying my best today. And so today we are here to review the promo looks from the judges and from the contestants of the, of the first season of Lolita's Drag Race fashion photo review. So, are you excited for, the, for this season of Lolita's Drag Race? Well, yes, I mean, after winning, yeah. it was uh, <laughs> You won, let's, let's remember but... that, yeah, let's remember that you won your season. <laughs> so, I have a winner here. Yes, and I got to experience season 3 from the judges panel. Yes. And now I get to watch the season from another point of view, so it's going to be interesting. And the twist from this season, I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, the, the twist from this season is that there are going to be some pixel art on the stage, as I heard. Yeah, I mean, the pixel art and like artwork itself is like evolving, so it's going to be very different from when I participated, mostly. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, I mean, it's something fresh, something we haven't seen a lot so that's soon going to be exciting for sure oh, yes of course it's going to be so exciting and i'm i'm ready for dive into these magical and stunning looks are you ready yes yes let's do this okay let's do this so first up is the host the mother of uh, lolita's drag race the one and only lolita so here we have this look what do you think about it well, I, I think it's what I would expect from from her. I mean, like this kind of mother figure, something like very great royalty. Yes, it's, like it's, queen it's of really ice. Good. Yes, it's really, really good. I really like the texture. I really like the, the bag. I really like accessories. So for me, this is uh, uh, yes. excellence at, at its finest and also we can yeah. see the theme of the promo that it's like a, a chroma fashion, fashion yeah. futuristic kind of so i really really like this look of course i cannot boot it i'm going to shoot it because this is a really stunning look the uh, hair detail the makeup the mask the look everything i really love everything about it yes wow i love the wig i love the makeup like the shades the combination yes. of colors because it's not like monochromatic like it has some some details that make it more shiny more 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 expensive as well like it's, it's very very good it's a good for me well the next judge for this season is gucci okay so let's talk about this look because i think it's Wow, <laughs> I'm just saying wow because it's yes. really amazing. The wave I'm living for. Yes, yeah. it's really really good. I really like the the wave, the all these. Uh, I'm I'm just seeing now a trend alert of hair wigs, and uh, yes. and it's really a hard work that I cannot uh, I cannot believe what I'm seeing because it's really really good. And also the pose is stunning, the attitude, I'm seeing attitude from this pixel art and I'm really loving it. Yes, what I like is that it's not like a big outfit, like it's mo mostly uh, something uh, not so crazy, not so soft, not so campy, but it's like on fashion point. Yes, the and details also she, in the corset and, and the boots. She shows a lot of skin. She shows a lot of skin, I think. Yeah. Uh, that that's a really good good point, and, and I really like that someone shows skin that much. <laughs> yes, it's definitely a toot for me. Yes, it's also a really, really, really strong toot for me. So next up, we have another judge. It's Mermaid. Oh, um, okay. So I I let you talk first. Well. I'm trying to understand the look first of all because there's a lot going on and there's some flowers, there's a, like a purse 
I think. Yes, it's kind of a. I think it's a first uh, uh, kind of a. Uh, I'm saying a gore aesthetic first, like a uh, kind of a horror, let's say, aesthetic first. I, I kind of like it. I'm not saying meh for, to that, but I really, really like it. The thing is that um, there are, a, as you said, there are a lot of things going on. There is this kind of m yes. uh, mask on the face that is not a mask. Then we have this this shirt that is not a shirt because it's kind of iridescent and like uh, uh, somewhat uh, nude, if you want to say that. But and the, this gown, this little gown that it's kind of particular, as I have to say. Yes, I mean the the elements as themselves as individuals. I like them, but I'm not sure if all together is what I would uh, wear. For example. Yes, I, I understand what you're saying, but as you said, the elements are really good. I really like the, the, the technique yes. and also how she put them together. Uh, I, I think that the, the top part of her body is missing something. It's too simple because she has done this incredible boots, this incredible gown, this incredible purse and also this hair piece and this mask and i think that here is missing something for me yes i i, I think the the look itself is it's not bad overall i think that i agree it's it's missing something yeah. that makes it stand out uh, as a whole so of course she's selling us her uh, iconic uh, uh, platinum hair that i love but uh, yes. it's missing something uh, again it's missing something but for me it's a tooth a soft tooth yeah i'll give it a tooth as well next up we have a test okay once again categories whips yes again hair. again and again and again long long inches of hair uh, i really like the technique that it's used to do the hair it's really cartoony it's really uh, like she's it's giving uh, me like yes gladiator yes yes it's really punk rock if you want to say that mm. uh, the makeup yeah, is stunning it's really good the makeup is really stunning i have to say it looks really good and also another trend alert mask she has a mask too for sure yes yeah well i like the details she has on like her hands and her waist yes and the top part like it's not just like basic things around her body it has like a 3d dimension thing yes yes it's uh, really stunning it's, it's very really realistic i really like that it's really really stunning yes. also i like that uh, the blue I, I the thing i miss uh, i kind of miss is the, these blue touches on the hair so I, I would like it to be more blue more uh, uh, on the hair because it's just like you know the little curl on the top of her head and the little curl down to uh, her shoes you know it's it's just not too much for me not too much blue in the hair but I really like it overall yes it's a tooth for me yes also it's I liked it a lot me. Yeah, I like it a lot too. It's really uh, also the blush in the in, in the face is really stunning. So the blush, I I just love the blush on the cheek. It's stunning. So for me, it's a two two. And next up, last judges here, we have Estesia. It's kind of oh. giving. <laughs> well, I think it's different from what we saw on someone else and the rest of the judges. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I know stay here. For, from competition he has judged me himself and uh, I think it's very on brand like he is this sort of person who's going to try to think outside the box and I think that's reflected on this look yes here. it's really it's really a complex look I the only thing that for me is missing something is the hair to me the hair is totally out of the look I think if she uh, had some sculpted hair as we saw in the other looks yes. that would be really amazing but again it's stunning the, 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 the all the aspect of this circular motion on the gown on this kind of 
it's not a gown, it's not, it's something really futuristic as we it's can It's like say. a bodysuit, yes. Yes, it's, it's a bodysuit and also this piece under her, it's really stunning, the makeup always looks stunning. I think we missed some definition on the face, the only thing I'm saying, I cannot understand where her face ends properly, but I think it's a really stunning look, I love the shoes, I love everything, I love the pose also, I really love the pose. Yes, yes, I like that it's very unique and uh, it still matches the theme even though he's not using the same colors as everyone. Yes, that's, so. that's true, that's true. So for me, it, uh, it's a soft suit, but I really like it. Yeah, I'll give it a suit. Now, let's go to the contestants. So first up, we have Lolita Peru. Okay, what do you think about this look? Well, the first thing that came to my mind is Jam from All Star 6 promo. Yes. Uh, I don't know if it's that's for inspiration, but that's what's like giving me right now. Like the, I like the pose, like she's trying to control the pictures, very dominant. Yes. Go on. What I don't get is like the, the hair, it's sort of. Messy, I, I don't know. I have to disagree with you. I have to disagree with you. I really like the hair. I really like the movement. It's like a wind is blowing on her face. It's really. I, I really like. I think, as you say, that she could have done it better. But I think it's actually really good. Yes. I really like the pose. I really like the headpiece. The headpiece is stunning. Uh, I really like this bodysuit and also the boots are really stunning. The, the, the piece under yes. her, the, these wings are really, really stunning. And also the makeup, I really love it and I love the face. Yes, uh, it has like a, this sort of uh, degree in colors, like it's rising from blue to purple to pink. Yes. And uh, like the combination itself, it's like really pleasing to watch. The only thing about the hair yes. that I have to say is maybe another color. I would have preferred it another yes. color, or maybe it, uh, a strong white, because he needs to pop out. Because here is not giving me that what I want. It's not giving me what I want from the look. But I really like it. So for me, it's a toot. It's a toot for me. Uh, now we have a Katarina Killer. Hmm. What do you think? So. It's a really, really, really strange aesthetic. It's a really, really strange way to do pixel art, but I like it. I like the complex, the complexity and the complexion of the look. I like the hair. The only thing I would like to to see more is more face, more makeup, and mm, these little sparkles that she did on the look. I would prefer if they were kind of different like the one we saw in the background with this stunning background that we are seeing from all these promos so i would love if the lights were a little yes. bit uh, detailed and made uh, in uh, in a clear way yes i like the, the pose because it seems like she's holding her outfit yes uh, it's very realistic and uh, i like that it's sort of like a throne like a tree, purple tree, I don't know, like it's growing from the sides, it's like very yes. complex, but uh, I, I, I like how it's connected to like a simple it's giving, it's or like giving like body a, suit. It's giving like venom or like some alien uh, creature, yeah. so I really like that. Yes, yes, and the hair is really good for me, I yes. like that it's yes. cut short on the neck. And it's, it's like not covering the outfit itself. It's really stunning. The only thing, again, I would have loved another color of hair. Because to me... Yes, but still a toot. Yes, still a toot. Also for me, it's a, it's a toot uh, head to toe, but I really would love another color. It, it's strange for me because I only do black hair because I'm the black hair queen, but... Uh, in this kind of look, I, if, if, if it's not doing, if it's not the, oh my god, if, if it's not in a, in a clear way and not um, uh, in another um, kind of aesthetic, I would prefer in this look, in this complexity, also another color of hair like a pastel or like a, something really bright that pops up. But again, it's a really good look. It's a suit for me. 
So next up we have the doll, the one and only Josualia. So what do you think about this look? Well, this is giving me like futuristic wings club. Yes. Like a fairy metal fairy. Like the details are amazing. I love the wig so much. It's like very unified and so simple yet so sunny. Yes. I, I really really like this one. Yes, in comparison to the other it's really a simple look, but I think it works. I you know I, I, I love simple. To me simple is better. The, 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 the less is more to me. So I really like this For look. Sure. I really like this look. I really like the face, the, the mug and also the pose that she's giving to us. The only thing mm -hmm. uh, I always have something to to criticize about a look uh, the only thing i would have loved the the this kind of uh, wings to be more or, or some light or something a little more but again uh, it's really nothing compared to the masterpiece that is this look yes. so for me it's a full tooth yes i'll give it a tooth for sure i love it well next up we have cog band Okay, I And see. uh how let you start? Yes. So I uh, so um Okay. <laughs> I need to take a breath. So I really like the aesthetic. I love these queens that are doing they are doing so campy, so strange and so uh out of the box because this is so out of the box for me and I really like it. Um, I love the fact that, uh, as we saw, she yes. is actually a cock, uh, like a, a rooster, uh, and also the look is really stunning, <laughs> as, as I have to say. The only yes. thing I have to say is these shoes. I don't particularly understand these shoes, because to me they, they could have been done in a little different way, but again, it's part of the uh, exaggerated look as we see these big breasts these big uh, uh, shoes and all of that and also the headpiece i don't understand very much about the headpiece i only, I only carry cock on top but uh, nothing else uh, that's under it yes yes i mean i'm excited to see what cock is going to be <laughs> because this is definitely interesting for sure I mean, she's like nothing, nothing that we have seen so far, nothing really polished, but she has like this uh, very quirky style of, yes. of creating an outfit and it's interesting. I mean, I don't get the shoes, but I like them for sure. The breasts are funny yes. and, and I think it's, it's, it's cohesive yet, like very weird. But, but I like it, it's a, it's a soft tooth for me. Also for me it's a really soft tooth. The only thing I want to commend her on doing is be uh, kind of... Uh, you, this is outside of the box, but the head is this like cock face. Yes, uh, this, like like try to in the in, in uh, I hope I really hope polish that, those yes, details yes yes in the in the next weeks and what we are going to see I hope that this, there are going to be something different about it because this is still the same it's going to crack me up <laughs> so I really hope that she's going to sure. give us more but again toot uh, uh, a complete toot for me next up we have one of my favorites Joseph. So, I'm going to let you start with this, but I, I, I'm, I'm in love, so go first. Yes, um, the sort of bodysuit that continues through as gloves and through the legs as like this sort of shoes and boots, it's like really interesting. And for some reason I like this uh, like bubblegum pink and the soft uh, yes. aquamarine green combination even though I wouldn't combine them I think it's like really really cute uh, she's definitely not not serving like fish she's not trying to be pretty for sure 
but that's and, uh, that's uh, I think that's what we are seeing, what we have always seen from her. So that's kind yes, of her brand. Yes, definitely her her brand. Yes. Yeah, and and I love it because it's it's really hard, you know, it's really hard to make your face. Uh, uh, recognizable to other people when i see that face i know it's her when i see that uh, that kind of uh, uh, technique i know it's her so that is what to me makes this uh, queen special because when i see something that kind of thing that is made in that kind of way i know it's her so i, I love mm -hmm. this head to toe i love the, the, the kind of strange boots that it's going down i really like that uh, and I love the, this bodysuit. Even it's really simple. It doesn't have any of the wings that we saw, of the, uh, the back piece that we saw. But I really like this in this simplicity and this complexion because, trust me, this is not easy to do. No, for sure. Yes. And the headpiece is like really good as well. Yes. I mean, it's not like very uh, complex. I mean, it's like two horns. Yes. But uh, it matches the, the look really well. Yes, I, I think it's all the same energy and all the same concept. So to me, it's a really strong suit. Yes, I'll give it a suit for sure. And um, well, now we move on to Janice Royal. It's interesting, as I have to say. I think. I'm thinking right now about this look. I really like the hair, the movement. When I, when someone gives me movement with the hair, I'm all about hairography. Um, I love mm -hmm. the mask, these glasses. It's a kind of like a, a fashion astronaut, as I have to say. The only thing I have to say, it's a little confusing with the textures and with all it's going on on these um, uh, bodies parts i'm seeing this kind of a body that turns into these waves that's kind of confusing to me but it looks really good the effect the uh, visual effect it's really strong um, the boots are stunning are made in a stunning way and so for me it's 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 really good the only thing i would prefer if it was more clean on the edges of that uh, movement Yes, yes, I agree. I mean, I'm, I'm a sucker for like, these ponytails. I think they're amazing. I think it matches like the movement that she's trying to create, like a a very like Barbarella futuristic yes. uh, girl. And uh, it's something we could expect. I mean, it's nothing really outside the box, but it's uh, really good. Really yes. Good. It's, it's, it's made perfectly, as you say, it's not something we have not seen, uh, it's not something yes. new, so that's the kind of a problem I have with this, but I think that for a promo look, this is a really good choice, it's showing her brand, it's showing uh, that she can make a clear look, and uh, I can't wait to see more, so for me, it's a good Yes, I agree. I'll give it a two. Next up, we have Longdor for two. Okay, so I let you start with this. You know, I'm trying to understand this look. There's so much to look at, so much detail. Um, well, to start off, uh, just like it happened with CJ, I I'm not crazy for the hair here. I think it's like very plain in comparison to. Like all these details that we see from the legs, from the boots, from the arms, and her like sort of mask, mask, headpiece, whatever that is. So I wish she had something bigger for the hair, something that moves and matches the yes. the aesthetic she's going for. I really like these uh -huh. uh, these details. I really like this structure. This kind of uh, 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 this is also another trend alert that we are seeing. This futuristic like branches or tentacles that are going out. I really like them. I really like how they're done and the highlights that they have. The only thing I have to criticize, as you say, the hair is not something uh, crazy or something that I would have loved uh, to see. But I think it's okay. I don't mind that. 
The only thing that I, I really don't like about this is that the mask covers everything about her face except the mouth. Like mm -hmm. I don't see her. Yes. I, I I see little eyes. I don't see the nose. I don't see makeup. I I don't see what I would have loved to see because I'm a face girl. So I really like to see makeup. I really like to see uh, a, a, a face that now is covered for me. Yes, uh, and I wish the pose was different. Like we can't really appreciate. Uh, like everything in the outfit correctly i think it's some some sort of like weird watching the fabric move yeah. it's a not my favorite pose but i like the idea she's going for that she combined colors with the branches it's it's not just something like gray or metal no, yes, that, the, the, the colors, uh, the colors are really stunning. I have to say, the this magenta and this purple are really, really stunning. The only thing, as you say, the pose really hides what's the look because we see, uh, we don't see much, as I have to say. We just see these drapes coming from her body, but I don't understand how this is actually built on her. Uh, also, mm -hmm. we uh, I, I think that's kind of a sword, a sword on her uh, right uh, hand, but I cannot see that because the pose do not her, like it doesn't show me the hand or what she's holding. And also, if I'm not seeing uh, badly, she has a purse on her uh, left hand, the purple one. I don't know if you can see it really close. So, so that's a really, a, mm -hmm. so that's really confusing to me, because I had to watch it twice to understand what's going on in some parts of the look. But again, yes, it's, overall, it's hard to process. Yes, at overall, to me, it's a two. Yeah, it's a soft two for me. Okay, moving on, we have Veronica Berry, a bitch she is serving. Yes, she ate this up like i'm telling you right now i'm crazy about this look but you can start you know but you can start it's really really stunning it's really mm. good it's kind of giving yes. um, um as we say it's kind of a futuristic chroma theme but she's giving horoscope to me scorpio to she's me. a villain here yeah, she's, she's not a villain. villain she's a yes, villain she's the villain of this, of this uh, chroma's looks i really like that I would have loved if she had something on that hand. That hand is going to grab something, but I'm not catching anything from from that. So I would have loved if she was like a, 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 a horse or something like that. But again, that's nothing compared to what we are seeing. The makeup, the face, the pose, the, the shoes, this giant Scorpio tail. It's stunning. To me, it's really stunning. Yes, I have like literally nothing bad to say. I mean, the prosthetics she has on like her face and her arms, it's like so complex, so amazing on the details that it has. Like the boots have me crazy. Uh, it's an absolute masterpiece. Like for me, this is a shoot. Oh, this is a shoot a, right a now. Shoot. I'm going to yes. give it a suit because again it could have been more there's I think there's always time for uh, add something more that is not does not have to be more 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 but to me in this look she could have done it more 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 as we say because the hair I really like it you know we have we have been talking this whole time about doing uh, sculpted hair uh, or some big hair but this is really working for me because she is doing this really slick hair but she has this gorgeous tail going up her head so to me it works the only thing as I say the that hand grabbing it, it looks like grabbing something but well, I, maybe she's trying to grab the crown yeah probably she's trying to grab the crown probably she's trying to grab the crown but we will see what she's giving to me this is a really clear statement that she's ready and she wants that crown so to me it's a good yes next up we have the one the only we already know her maxine so what do you think about this look First of all, I love how the look matches the skin so well. Uh, 
I think it's like very very pleasant to watch. I mean those boats are so different from what we have seen. I mean they are amazingly detailed. Um, as we saw with some looks it's not like crazy, it's not stuffed, it doesn't have like a lot but it's very very well constructed and it goes like up here and it makes like this sort of headpiece too that, that it's giving it's giving like uh, a very like futuristic showgirl yes yes I it like kind, it it, it, it kind, uh, as you say good point uh, as you say showgirl i really like that idea because i think this is like a josephine becker uh, in the future to me so it, it's really mm -hmm. stunning i really like this idea of this showgirl in uh, in this futuristic look it's, it, it looks like clouds kind of you know yes. it looks like clouds and this sky texture that i really really like uh, the boots are really stunning they are a masterpiece to me on this look the only thing is that the pose is it's not really really clear to me the pose you know when you have this kind of a uh, um, complex look uh, or these complex uh, uh, gloves uh, and all of that it's kind of losing to me when it's I, I understand that she has her hands and her arms behind her head I can understand that because I know uh, looking at it but if you see it you you, you can um, kind of understand that that's kind of her wig and you can say where are her arms do you understand what I'm saying you can easily not understand yes what, I imagine the yes you the, can yes you cannot imagine the idea she's trying to go for hands. yes exactly I, we know because we know uh, uh, because I think we also have uh, experience on pixel art and we can understand that but somebody that is seeing this for the first time is going to be like where are her hands where are her arms like that, sure. that, that's the only yes. thing I'm going to criticize but everything else it's really stunning the face is stunning it's giving me kind of an alien look the face it's really it's really stunning yes and, yes and, uh, the details in red make the yes. look more colorful yes. it's not so monochromatic it's stunning to me it's a tooth only for that uh, the look aside the only thing that I have to criticize is the pose but again really a tooth for me Yes, I'll give it a two. And uh, we'll move on with a Satisfier. Okay. And we have another fairy yes, here. Yes, we have another Wings. <laughs> yes. So, I really, so. really like this look. Uh, it's giving me, as you say, fairy, or futuristic fairy. The, I don't like the way the wig is done. I would have preferred the wig done it another way, but these long eyebrows are stunning, the body piece is stunning. Yes, um, I, I really like that she's using like these pastel tones instead of going for like the classic colors that most people were going for. Uh, I like the iridescent shoes because I think they match the outfit as, as a whole really well yes it's kind of a glass to me it looks like a glass uh, yes shape. yes and the same thing that happened uh, with uh, I think it was London the mask or the face piece it's like kind of taking over her face and yes. we barely get to see uh, her makeup her mouth Yes. So that's something I would criticize, but the look is like simple, cute, it's detailed. Overall it's a really good look. The only thing I would like to see more is the these wings. To me they clash totally, they crash totally with the colors of the look. It's, a, it's this purple that with this kind of cyan, a cerulean and this white does not have nothing to do with it so i really would love this the white or this kind of blue uh, cyan that we are seeing that i will love but again to me it's a toot yes it's a toot for me so next up we have sofred di rossi so oh, oh my, my italian accent just came in 
So we have uh, uh, representing the house of the Rossi. Uh, I'm gag. What about you? Yes. Well, if uh, Ronica was the villain, Sophie's definitely the hero here. Yes. Uh, she has them, this sort of armor. I mean, the pose she's giving. Uh, she looks very powerful. Uh, when we talked about the movement of the wig, like this is how you do it, bitch. Yes. This is how you how you create the movement. It's uh, so well uh, designed, so well made. And uh, I love the high platforms. Most people are going for boots, but both her and Satisfier did these kind of shoes that are very futuristic and and I I I, I really like it. For I really sure. like I really like it too. It's really stunning. It looks like frosting on her. It looks like fresh snow just landed on her it's really stunning and as you say she is the hero right now from all these looks we can see that she is ready to battle and ready to take the crown she also have like a crown happy so to me she's saying i'm ready for this race and so start your engines as we say i really like this look i really like mm. it, 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 this uh, white and also the pink uh, in the boots, in the bodysuit, the, in the in her makeup, and also in the air. As you can see, in the air we have a little string of, of mm -hmm. thin hair. So the details are really, really stunning and really, really complex. So to me, to me, this is a shoot. Oh, now we're doing shoots. Okay. Now, now I'm doing shoots. I'll okay. do it too. I, I prefer a villain, but let's let's go for two. Okay, you go for you go for a two. I'm going for a shoot. And moving on, we have a Wicca. Oh. What do you think? Okay, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with the hair. I'm in love with that. So as you, as I said to you before, this pastel hair is a really stunning. I really like that. I really like the all the blue skin that it match the it matches the pink of the dress and it's really really well made as i have to say the details are stunning this it kind of reminds me uh, just for the um, the complexity and from the form of this top part like a mugler uh, look uh, a stunning mm -hmm. mugler look and also yes. and again these details it looks like she has white flames under her that are going up and up and up to her uh, to her hair so it's really really stunning to me yes yes the dress is like really really well made like it, it looks like it's burning down from the bottom to the top and she also created these like branches and those details in the top part of the corset like it's coming out of her bra uh, the hair, I, I really really like it. What I'm not crazy about is like her face expression, like she looks like I'm bothered. I, I, I wish she would give like emotion or like something more powerful. I have to say her, though, her way of painting the face. Yes, but I have to say though, if she even had an expression, you wouldn't even notice because this look is really all about this dress and this hair so i really don't mind that i really like the face i like the mug i like that she did this black lip that really popped out from this pastel look and also the blush is really stunning i wouldn't prefer an earring i don't see an earring there i wouldn't like it but again to me it's a really to a really good tooth and a strong tooth even yes it's a very very good look and a tooth for sure so next up we have mm. One of a kind, money for you. So, I want to let you talk first about this because uh, I know money and I know what she does and I really love what she does. But I want to hear your perspective on what she does and what this is for you. Oh, yes, I mean, I got to judge money on Queen of Midnight, so I have seen her steady. Uh, I, I I think she was one of my favorite queens on the, that season, so I'm really excited to see what she brings, and she's going to be a strong contender for sure. 
and just like uh, Josser, I think she has like this very marked style. This is like her brand. She is nothing like the pretty girls. She is not fashion. She is not uh, focused extremely on fashion, but like she is going to serve in a different level, and that's uh, here for sure. We have villains, we have heroes, and we have monsters like her and aliens and it's it's uh, a very great look i mean the the chains she's holding with these little pink pieces are great um, he has like this structure bone uh, detail around uh, the top piece and the and the the parts of the neck the the chin, the mouth, and it's giving me like very health health racer. Yes. Like the. Yes, her racer. Uh, yes. Those films. Yes. Yeah, it's stunning to me. It's really stunning. It's a. Uh, um, as I say, first uh, for other queens, when I see something like this, I know it's her. I know it's uh, her work and I can recognize that and also this look it's really different it's really stunning I really like the punk rock energy that they give it to us uh, but also she's in theme because we have also this kind of um, uh, strange tentacles going up her, uh, her long legs and also these platform shoes as we see again uh, the headpiece she's it, it looks like a goblin or like some a fantasy creature that I really like and again to me the color is perfect the only thing I would have loved as I have to say this purple that she has on these two floating kind of spheres or what they are I don't know because that's her vision I would have loved some purple even on me maybe on the eyes maybe on, on something that really pops out because I think that it misses some other color but again really complex and really stunning uh, for sure yes i agree and uh, i'm excited to see what money brings this season yes also she's a really 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 stunning competitor and also i really am seeing from this season that we have some uh, a lot of queens that already have like a portfolio of their other season or and their other competitions yes. but we have some new queens that are going to show us what they can bring so new queens please close out because these queens these girls are not going to play with you so you already have uh, some experienced queen like they have experience so I'm going to I'm, I'm just seeing that it's going to bring some drama and even some uh, strange uh, uh, relationship so but going back to the look to me this is a full tooth yes tooth for sure okay last but not least we have Oneira and uh, we have like another alien goddess here that, what do you think that, that's really stunning to me I really like it I really really like the concept these eyelashes they are so I really like this aesthetic. Uh, this giant nose ring is stunning. It's giving me alien. It's giving me monster, but a regal monster, a stunning monster, ready to conquer the world and ready to conquer this competition. The only thing I would have loved, I think, this kind of ice texture that she has on her boots and on her uh, right hand. I think it could have been done better. But that aside, I really like it head to toe. It's really, really stunning. Yes, um, I mean she's looking like the queen of the aliens here. Like it's very royalty esque kind of, but also like really punk with the details of the nose ring and the edgy details of the boots and the hands. Um, I like that he play. She played with like this asymmetry and the hands making like three fingers and the other fingers are longer um what i wish the look had was like a more detail on the white part i think it's like very plain 
the white leg doesn't have like a strong shoe for example uh, some little details like to fix it and uh, well I know Aneiro is a bold queen I know uh, she's very inspired by like Sasha Valera so this is definitely on brand and uh, I have also seen and judged her on the Queen of Midnight when she was a uh, new for later so yeah uh, I'm excited to see her back for another competition I, I never saw her in any competition so for me this is all new but I really like what I'm seeing I really like everything that she has on as you say it could have been done better in some parts but again to me this is a clear tooth I don't have nothing to say to this yes it's a tooth for me so now we have our trend alerts of these promo looks so I, I will let you say the first one well the first trend alert is branches yes we've seen so many branches so many tentacles. so many branches it's today so stunning so futuristic and that's our trend alert and our second trend alert is sculpted hair because we saw so yes. many sculpted hair in these looks and i really really appreciate so it. good yes we love the hair hierography head to toe and uh, we hope you keep bringing immerse amazing hairstyles for the rest of the season yes we cannot wait and our top two of the week is Veronica Veri no, and... no 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 so Freddy Rossi I'm so sorry girl but I I, I cannot I cannot I, I... let's do a tie do you want to do a tie okay it's a tie it's, it's a, tie. a tie okay perfect they're so, both amazing stunning really really stunning Thank you so much everybody to tune in in this first episode of Lolita's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review of Season 4. I really thank you so much Amy to be with me tonight. It's really it's really a pleasure for me having you. Oh thank you, it was so amazing. I loved every single look and I'm excited to see which one of the queens will join me in the winner's circle. Yes. And uh, yes. It's really, it's really, it's really a tough start, as I have to say. But we will see more. And thank you so much to everybody for listening to us and to judge with us these stunning looks. We are going to see you next week with some new looks from Rodita's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review Season Four. Bye. Bye.